Friday night Saptors to the Pride operators we see regularly at Pleasure Beach for making this season incredible. I look forward to continuing doing what I love throughout 2023. But no way, man. He's going to win all that. I'm that sick. This has been absolutely And what time do you call this? Uh, um... It's four o'clock in the morning and you've woken me up for God's sake. Sorry, man. I'm just wondering when the Winter Wonderland vlog's coming out, man. Like, you know it's my favourite park in the UK. Oh, uh, sorry. I've binned it off ages ago. I mean, it wasn't that good a vlog anyway and I've just been so busy this year. I mean, it's New Year's Eve now and it's been over a year since I visited. Surely you would have realised by now that I wasn't going to upload it. What? You're telling me I've been waiting a whole year for this vlog to come out, man? You could have bloody told me it's not coming out. Well, I'm sorry. I thought you were down your mate's gaff or something. I've been really busy filming content covering everything that's been going on. Valhalla at Blackpool Pleasure Beach has finally reopened. I've been to Park Asterix in France for the first time. I've ridden the world's fastest zip line. Oh my word, it gets even worse. I absolutely love Valhalla and now I'm going to have to wait until March to ride it. And I've missed out. Everyone else has already ridden it. And I'm never going to be able to catch up on all this missed content. I'm meeting up with some girl I met online later at Winter Wonderland. And I was relying on you uploading that vlog to give me tips and tricks before I go. I'm confused, right? How did you not realise that so much time has passed? Surely if you're that desperate to impress this girl with a Winter Wonderland date, you could have easily looked up some Winter Wonderland vlogs on YouTube from other vloggers. And how on earth did you meet this girl anyway? I don't care, Ben. That's not the point. And I met her on that app that old enthusiasts talk on. What's it called? It's called X. It used to be called Twitter, but Elon Musk randomly decided to rename it earlier this year, God knows why. Yeah, yeah, bird app. So you're seriously telling me that you met this girl on X or Twitter or whatever it's called and you had no idea that so much time was passing or anything about any of the theme park news that was going on. Are you sure you met this girl on X and not some other app? Uh, um... Right, moving swiftly on, since you were so kind as to make a highlights video for me this time last year when I was feeling down about how the year had gone, I thought I would return the favour and do the same for you. So now you can catch up on everything that's happened in 2023 in a matter of minutes. Really? Ah, oh, thanks man. I'm not best happy about this, but... You are a bit of a legend, I can't lie. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's celebrate everything that 2023 had to offer. We now have a concrete date regarding the reopening of Valhalla. Valhalla, we've got a waterfall on, the fences are down. Here we go, we have now experienced the reimagined Valhalla. Possibly the best water ride in the world. What happened on Valhalla, you may wonder? Well, we got an evac. Game over, mate. Game over. You can hear Emily going, You're mine! At the end of the ride. Oh, there we go. Hello, mate. Massage Del Terra, which is its 25th anniversary. Emily, what did you think of our holler? Where's my bathroom dropped on? <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> 
definitely by far my favourite coaster. Yep, I got asked to take it off. One of my favourite night rides. One of the best dark slash black rides in the world, this. Speed Project Exodus will now be called Hyperia when it opens. As today is the day that Hyperia, previously known as Project Exodus, has finally gone vertical. Right guys, I've just had a friggin' art attack, right? And watch what is going to be the UK's colour for all from the construction spot. Our first phase of Fright Nights 2023 is going to be... Oh dear, oh dear, 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 we just... To get on our knees and crawl like dogs. Oh my god! <laughs> in the brand new scare zone which is going to be known as Creature Campus Troubles Brewing. That was incredible guys, Preachy Campus Troubles Brewing. There wasn't a technical failure like last time when I filmed this show, the audio didn't cut out or anything. Absolutely brilliant that.
I hate that ride. <laughs> I hate that ride. <laughs> and the park of today announced that Angry Birds Land will be closing tomorrow. Big easy, big easy Boulevard. What on earth? Final day of the Blackpool Pleasure Beach season. This guy here thought it would be a great idea to go on the Valhalla in five degree heat. I mean, where do I start? Universal could be opening a theme park in the UK. 2023 sure has been a year to remember, from the reopening of Valhalla to the rebranding of Fort Park. Speaking of rebrands, I'm sure as hell looking forward to your rebrand coming to fruition as we enter 2024, along with the opening of Hyperion the UK's tallest roller coaster. An exciting year of change is on the horizon, which leaves us with one last thing to say. Happy, Happy New Year and all the best, best for 2024. 2024.